for today's video, I wanted to teach you guys how to color correct like Lynn. So she has a very specific effect to her videos. It's kind of like a green tint and she plays around with the contrast and it's super unique and really cool. So I wanted to show you guys how you can do it for yourselves. Now I'm going to be breaking this tutorial up into two parts. I'm going to be teaching you how to do it on Final Cut Pro and I will also be teaching you how to do it on Cute Cut or Cute Cut Pro depending on if you have the paid version or not. Um, but the effects that you can do are still the same no matter if the cute cut version you have is paid or not. And I will also be explaining it in a way that if you do not have um, these software, then you can actually adapt this to whichever one you have, or you can edit your photos in a similar way. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get started with it. So this is pretty much what Lynn's video looked like. This is the color correction I found that I wanted to replicate. So for this video, I'm just using this clip of me studying because it's pretty simple. So what you're first going to want to do is go over to the right menu right here, and you want to go to this option, which is your effects option, and drag and drop a color board over top. So the first thing we're going to edit is the saturation. Now Lynn's videos are pretty saturated. Not overly saturated, like Alicia Marie School Alicia saturation, but definitely saturated. So I'm going to go ahead and drag up the middle saturation tool and then play around with the other ones so that it looks sort of natural. But so as you guys can see here, my skin doesn't look too orange, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this and we can change it later. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the contrast. So uh, what the way we're going to do this is with a curve. So when you're in the color board option here, you'll see this arrow you're going to click on that and click on color curve and it's going to add this and you'll see that there are all these options but the only one we're going to play with is the luma so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to drop a dot here here and here so that we have five in total and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is make it look almost like an s so i'm going to drag this bottom part up now i don't want to go too much because you can see that this just lightens the shadows and i only want to do that a little bit so that it makes it less contrasted and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that, but I'm going to make the highlights a little bit darker. And I'm just going to do that by playing with this here on the other end of it. And then you can play around with the middle tones. So I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is add another color board by again going to that arrow and going to color board. And this time we're going to be playing with the tint a bit. So the way I usually do this is I just play around with the midtones. You guys can see here, here are the different options that you have. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go to the purple, since purple is like the opposite of green in this case, and drag it down to make it more green. Or what you can do is go to the green and drag it up. I think the purple one looks a little bit more natural, so you guys can go ahead and do that. But it just comes to a lot of playing around with it to see what you like. Now, her, Lynn's videos aren't super green, it's just like a slight green tint, so I'm going to try and replicate that like so. And then I'm just going to play it and see if there's anything I want to change, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to that saturation on color board 1. And I think I'm going to fix it a little bit because I think it's a little too saturated for my liking. Yeah, that looks a little more natural because I don't want it to look too crazy. And then I'm going to go to the curve again and just play around with that to see if it changes anything. Okay, so this is the final clip and this is pretty much how Lynn color corrects her videos. And now I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do it on Cube. So the process is a little bit more simple on QCut because the options that we use are there except you don't have as much freedom with the color correction as you do on Final Cut. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do is double tap on the clip that you want to edit and then scroll on the bottom until you see these three circles right here and those are your color tool options. So the first thing we're going to do like before is change the saturation and just up it a little bit. Um, it's hard to like drag it and see as you're going so you just kind of have to go to random spots and see if you like it. I'm going to go ahead with that one right now. Then I'm gonna go to my contrast and I'm just gonna play with it. So obviously we don't want more contrast, we want a little bit less. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to negative, let's go with negative 14. Yeah, and then you can also play with the brightness too to make it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, depending on what you want. That'll also help with um, getting that uh, less contrasted look that Lynn has. So next we're gonna go to the, the colors option and go to green and I'm just gonna turn green up a tiny bit this is really hard on Q-Cut, but there are these little arrows that you can use. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit so that it has a green tint for the most part. And then this is generally 
the color correction. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it though. I think I want it to be a little bit more saturated. So I'm gonna play around with it until I like it. I do want it to be a little bit more contrasted too. So I'm gonna edit that. And then this is what the final clip looks like.